to today's problems compared with peace demonstrations and campus rallies, which they say are negative activities. Moreover, they are showing an enthusiasm for religion, which many not too long ago would have found quite embarrassing. Bill Wordham, ABC News, Dallas, Texas. about a hundred thousand of us and as we study more about Christ he can he changes people and he changes a country and thereby we study about Christ and learn how to live as he did and he will change our country to the better I'm scared that if I if I don't follow Christ that I'm gonna die and go to hell you know but that I, I know I believe in Christ and I'm going to heaven, but I want to travel Christ's path. Is there among your companions uh, a feeling of uh, a need to belong, a need to find something, a need to uh, find Not a anymore. Way? They've already found it. Christ is the way, and they have found this. That's why we're here, to grow in this feeling. We'll turn. All right, I guess it's just about this. Okay. What do you find here? What draws you to a Congress like this? One thing that we have in common, such as Jesus Christ, and we all believe that someday he's going to come back again and bring there up to people that really love and want to have a nice life in heaven and eternal life that will bring us back with him. What uh, I'm trying to get at is what made you come here? What, what was the motivation? coming to the Congress? It's hard to say, really, because we didn't have any knowledge of it at all. It's kind of like that God picked up the people that he thought could come and go back and bear witness to more people and get the whole thing started. It seemed like he just brought us here for that reason. Okay, let's move on. 
warm down. Right. Dan, I'll tell you what we're curious about is the fact that most adults have a different view of young people these days. We see them on the streets in protest demonstrations and at rallies and things like that and at rock concerts and it is a surprise to older people to find a good-looking group of uh, clean-cut looking kids at a gathering like this. Why, why are you here and not at a peace demonstration or something like that? Well, I've come to learn more about Christ Jesus and have to share about Jesus. We are, we are followers of Christ Jesus and we've come to learn how to share with other people and how to tell them how they can become Christians and follow Christ Jesus. Uh, would you also take part in another form of demonstration or do you feel this is more positive than the, the, this is the best thing you can be doing? Well, I believe this is more of a positive thing. I wouldn't take uh, being a peace demonstration, so to speak. I would come to something like this. Young people today seem to be very conscious of social ills and social injustices and are trying, they say, to do something about it, and I presume they are. Do you feel that attending a rally, a uh, Congress like this, uh, could have a benefit to the country and to people generally? Yes, I really do. Peggy, why are you here and what do you think attending this Congress is going to do for you? What prompted you to come here? I have a brother who is on staff, Stephen Moore, he's with Texas Tech, and I don't know, I, I guess he really showed me the way and how I, I wanted to find what God's will is for my life, and I think this is so fantastic. Okay, hold it a minute. Bobby? Mm -hmm. oh, take it, Bill. Hang on, wait, wait. Hold it. Peggy, have you always felt this way, or has something happened recently to bring you into a gathering like this? Well, I have been raised in a good Christian home, and I have wonderful parents. And, I don't know, you just get filled with the Holy Spirit when there's a gathering this size. And you want to share your faith. And you want to tell people about it. And I want to do it, and I want to be ready. You've always been this fervent in your faith? Not always. Just recently, I guess, with, a, with my brother and a good Christian family, it's kind of been a gradual, and I couldn't give you an exact date. But it's kind of been a gradual thing, like, it's overwhelming, you know. Okay. And the cause of loving Jesus Christ, our Lord. Is it, does anybody here... You have? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, okay. What, what changed your life around? Well, I became a Christian when I was 13 years old. And I backslid and... Well, backslid. I went, went off the the path that Christ had for my life, that he wanted me to travel. Well, I went to a high school, it's a county school, and we have a dynamic Christian choir director. And I got into singers, her name's uh, Glendon Harrington. She is a dynamic Christian. And she's the, she's the one that brought me to the real realization of my path that Christ has for me to travel. You feel better now? Yes, sir. I, I don't have any. Okay. Anybody else got turned around? All right, that's, uh, what, we got four or five there, Dan? Look, look, down with Just uh, anything casual. I can't get it in my here, and I can't cover it up with put my hands on it. Out of the water. the fields and hidden soils are ready. Others. I'm not actually a solid.